Hi everyone, Susie here from Minnesota, and I garden in a zone 4B, and I have good news and bad news. And I'm going to get to the bad news. I hate when people prolong bad news. My two silver poplar trees are going to have to come down. Uh, not till fall, so that's good news. At least I can appreciate my garden. But these had been here for about 40 years. I got a number of quotes, and they all came in pretty close. The one company is gonna, yeah, take off $2,000 because I'm gonna take down both trees. So this one and then this one, which will eliminate all of my shade. And then, again, not till fall, so good, but next year is gonna be definitely different. These shade my house. This is on the south side of my property. The cooling bill for summer is going to be horrible. I have warm hot humid summers i will miss them greatly i know a lot of you are saying thank goodness they're an eyesore they're messy i love them they're messy for a little bit but honestly i feel every tree is messy at some point in their life uh, i'm not i think maple trees are kind of a pain because those maple seed pods come up everywhere so, like I said, I have my favorites to have trees. I don't necessarily, I would never plant this variety again, but I do love the structure that it adds to this garden bed. So because of these trees, I, I'm a shade gardener. I have 80% shade plants and a hosta collector. So I have so many favorites. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them because my entire property is gonna be full sun. And the north side of my house is paved out and it's cemented. I have hydrangeas as a hedge so yeah not too many options they said any plants I want to save move because they're gonna trample on them and so I do have my favorites I know at some point so I'm not planting a whole lot in these gardens as far as perennials because I'm gonna to have to be moving them close to fall but like I said I, I have a lot of favorite hosses here they will be moved back into these gardens somewhere maybe some of my raised vegetable beds uh, around here i know that could be in the way too so maybe the other side and i'll just create little holding areas for the time being i am thinking possibly because of this pine tree here just kind of extending it out that way and doing shade here because it won't have any morning sun it will afternoon I still, I may be a northern gardener, but I definitely don't recommend ever planting a hosta in full sun unless if you have a constant water source. And I won't do that because I am kind of right plant, right spot. I do not want to sit here and water everything and set things up on drip. So back here is a wet spot. They'll probably like it a lot more. So like I said, it's just going to be a lot of moving things. And this garden bed has been here for four years, so it's not extremely old. I have snow on the mountain around this tree over here. I don't really care about, so that one's fine. And this area has never been a favorite of mine. So nice thing is it's with the full sun, I have more options of planting. I love peonies. They're, they'll love it over here. The drainage is almost too good over here. Along with, I'm thinking crab apples, ornamental trees, smaller varieties. So eventually they'll get big enough where I can move my hostas around them and just have a little more options. But unfortunately this bed here, I just planted up last year like in the front here. So, so I will see what I'm gonna keep. And I think what I'll do is I'll just, they might struggle a bit next year. I know that, but I don't wanna move a whole lot because they might be okay. Maybe. So other nice thing is because of more sun, I will have better yields with my vegetables. More options. I've always wanted to do ornamental trees, smaller, um, maybe some pines in there. I've always wanted to do that. Um, it's definitely, I, I will have to pluck away at it because I, that's a huge expense. That's why I said over here, um, I might be able just to move some plants around. 
I probably will, well, this will get the west sun and east sun, so full sun, never mind. <laughs> But the one thing is this is a wet area, so the hostas will probably do a bit better here. They'll have that moisture. So yeah, so... I will miss them. I mean, I really will. Because I just kind of like that huge swing next to that tree. So. Well, nice thing is, I mean... Not the nice thing. I, I'm not going to like because this is going to be in full sun here. For some reason, my beagle doesn't like it when it's cold and he doesn't like it when it's hot. He'll just come out and just lay on the ground. So he just always throws a fit for about everything. He's just so dramatic. But my little patio area over here, at least it's shaded from that hot sun from the west. So, And I have a huge umbrella. So like I said, all good and bad. It's, it's a little daunting because I take care of everything. All my gardens, all of the pruning, all of the mowing, weed whipping, everything. So it's, and working a full-time job. But, but I will do it the way I do most of my gardening, just one day at a time. So hopefully you enjoyed and bye for now.